What's up guys, it's Grantham, and uh, I wanted to make you guys a low level strategy guide to Kino Der Toten zombies, because uh, a lot of you have been asking, my, uh, my highest round is 47 solo, and uh, a lot of you have been asking for a solo zombies guide on this map. Um, really, this map, it, once you get the strategies down for this map, it's all about perseverance and not getting bored really because this map can get a little boring the strategy for this map after you get yourself in place with all your colas and stuff is just sprinting around the map after you teleport and that gets really boring I I, I think getting to round 47 took me around five hours of gameplay and of course in solo you can pause it but still that Five hours of gameplay in one day is a lot. Certainly, pretty much at the same time. But uh, when you start out, you want to get around... The max is six shots and a knife into a zombie, which is is moved up from Call of Duty 5 uh, zombies, because it used to be four, I think, in a, in a knife. And uh, But I try not to use too many bullets in the first round, uh, trying to hit them, because you want to conserve bullets, because typically you don't get a max ammo until around round... Three, possibly round two if you get lucky and uh, you want to let him break down at least five barriers so that you can repair those and get the 50 points and uh, so the first round I try to get around three shots in each zombie and then knife and sometimes I just conserve bullets if the zombies aren't lined up what you want to do is back up from the window let all the zombies funnel in and then you can line them up and get them with one bullet so you don't waste ammo and uh and then you just repair all your barriers. If there's a barrier, you wait for the next round if you've already repaired your amount of barriers for each round. And uh, so right here I wait for round two to start so I can repair the barrier and get the points. And uh, each each round you get two grenades. And although grenades don't get you as many points as your gun, if you are out of ammo, you might want to use your grenades just because you get them, get them back every round, two of them. Much like uh, claymores, if you've ever bought those off of the stage, you can buy claymores. Not the most, not the most useful, useful way to spend your points. <laughs> right here, I'm just, I'm just messing around because I love zombies. Really lends itself well to messing around. If you ever dolphin, dolphin dive down the stairs in the lobby, it's it's a lot of fun. It it never gets old, really. I don't know what I was doing here. I should, probably should have left that barrier unrepaired. Right here, you see, I'm trying to line up all the zombies because I think I have nine bullets left, and uh, and using those nine bullets on the zombies to try to get all nine, like all nine bullets into at least two zombies, will give me twice as many points as if I just shoot at one zombie. So a lot of it is about tactical, like running around the map and lining them up. And I think I use my grenades here to get rid of these kids. Oh, kids! I call I call all the zombies kids. When I when I play zombies, I don't know why it it I don't know. <laughs> I do that in multiplayer too. I just call everything a kid. Um, repair some more barriers. Double points is my favorite uh, power up. As far as under round maybe 15 goes, I would not get insta kill, and I would be very cautious with nukes because at late later rounds nukes can actually hurt you because they will kill all the zombies. And, uh, and then more zombies will spawn, but they'll spawn everywhere around you. So you will end up getting absolutely destroyed by zombies. And uh, I'm not sure exactly why this is. I think their spawning mechanism is kind of cool, actually. They, I think they spawn a certain number of zombies on the map at a time. And there's a certain number of zombies in each wave. So sometime, it, at some point, the number of zombies in solo that... Or on each wave passes the number of zombies that can be on the map at one time so you end up killing say let's say it's a hundred zombies you end up killing the hundred zombies and then the 50 zombies that you need to kill to complete the round spawn and then you have to kill them so getting the nuke will cause them all to spawn at the same time whereas if you kill them with your gun they're gonna spawn in ones and twos because you kill them slower with your gun. Um, insta kill is not necessary in the low round. See here, it's a one hit headshot, so I'm just going for headshots for points. And uh, 
later on you actually want to shoot it at the zombie's feet because that way you can explode all crawlers and uh crawlers actually crawlers when they blow up if you're close to them they'll fill your screen with stinky gas but uh if you blow them up at bigger zombies feet uh they blow up and kill the zombies around them so they're really useful in late later rounds if you unload it the feet of the zombies with your hk you can actually get a few kills because the hk's take I think at round 40 I counted I counted 100 bullets, I think. The upgraded HK takes 100 bullets. And uh, the Python is an awful weapon, but I just, I love using it because it's a one-hit kill. It's fun to mess around with. And it's actually not a bad escape weapon uh, in the lower rounds because of the one-hit kill. Um, the way I choose my weapons, um, my favorite... My favorite weapon's a tie between... My favorite weapon for points is a tie between the MP40, because you can buy ammo off the wall in this room that I'm in right now, and the HK upgraded because it has 900 bullets, so there's no use for buying ammo because you have so much ammo upgraded full ammo. And uh, that'll get you a lot of points. I think it's around 5,000 points per clip which is a ton, and uh, later rounds you need to stockpile those points so that you can spend them on traps later. Because around round 40 you're probably not going to be able to kill the zombies with even max ammo and HK. Unload all 900 bullets of the HK and you will not kill all the zombies in a round. And uh, that's when traps come into use and uh, become really effective. And those cost a thousand points each and you don't gain any points by using or by uh, getting kills with the traps, so you really want to stockpile those points up early. And uh, as far as perk colas, uh, perk colas go, I always go, always go quick revive. You always want to have quick revive on because it's just essentially another life, and it's only 500 points in multiplayer. If you or in uh, single player, it's uh, 1500 in multiplayer, and uh, the the effect of it is much different because it just gives you another life in single player, which they changed from Call of Duty 5, which I like, and uh, allows you to get to much higher rounds. Um, once you get your speed cola and you get into the uh, Juggernaug room with the power on, you definitely want to buy Juggernaug as soon as you can, as long as you have an MP40, which is a, a pretty good points weapon and not bad for ki like just killing purposes around under under round 10 and uh so you want to get juggernaug and then i like to get speed cola and then if you go to the box and get an a light machine gun uh so either the hk or the rpk i wouldn't use i wouldn't use it with any other gun possibly if you get the ray gun i would get that and uh i would get double tap and uh that speeds up the shooting with your guns and that's good if you have uh fully auto weapons but if you have the thunder gun which is by far the best the best gun in zombies the thunder gun but it's a I, I mean i guess it's the same chance to get as any other weapon but it seems like you don't get it that often and uh you want to conserve your ammo with that but double tap does not uh does not speed up that that weapon because it's semi-auto and uh the thunder gun if you get it you definitely want to what I do with the Thunder Gun is you're running around and if you use the Thunder Gun, you use up, if you use up all of its ammo, which you really want to try to avoid doing, you use up all the Thunder Gun's ammo and then you upgrade it. Because when you upgrade it, it gives you max ammo. So if you're really screwed, you're low on ammo, and you're in like the second round before dogs, like you have two more rounds to survive before dogs, then you definitely want to go... Uh, teleport and upgrade your thunder gun to a Zeus cannon and <laughs> right here the I use the crossbow the crossbow is actually not that bad upgraded because of its attraction effect and uh, that can be really useful to get you out of uh, tight situations and for dogs I just run around uh, that's all for part one I will be back with part two in a few seconds it hit a couple of times there so I'm just running around trying to get out of here